and using OpenAI chat models. Is there anything in particular you want to discuss about it? Well, yes, we have an error here, um, and it says header name must be a non-empty string. Uh, how do I fix this? Okay, I see the error message, header name must be a non-empty string, on the hotel's node configuration. It looks like you need to provide a value for the header name in the header authentication section. I would recommend clicking header auth to expand that section and inputting a name to fix this error. Hey guys, so in this video, I'll show you exactly how you can get Gemini Live to build any type of NATM workflow with you. Um, so think of it as like uh, an AI assistant that can see your screen and build the, the workflow with you. So I'll show you how, how it works. Here I have the AI travel agent template and we have a clear error, um, which is something to do with the header name must be a non-empty string. Now I had someone who joined my community who had this error and who didn't know how to fix it, but it's actually a very simple fix. Um, so let's see if Gemini AI uh, knows how to fix it. So what you're going to, going to do is you go on this website, aistudio.google.com slash live, and then you're going to click on share your screen. You share your screen, and then here, well, Gemini will see your, your screen. Hey, Gemini, can you see my screen? Yes, I can see your screen. It looks like you are on the Google AI Studio page. Is there anything you would like to do here? Okay, great. So now it can see my screen. So now, yes, we're on NA10. Um, can you see my NA10 workflow? Yes, I can see your N8N workflow. It looks like it's for an AI travel agent. It has nodes for webhooks, editing fields, flight and hotel searches, and using OpenAI chat models. Is there anything in particular you want to discuss about it? Well, yes, we have an error here, um, and it says header name must be a non-empty string. Uh, how do I fix this? Okay, I see the error message, header name must be a non-empty string on the hotel's node configuration. It looks like you need to provide a value for the header name in the header authentication section. I would recommend clicking header off to expand that section and inputting a name to fix this error. Would you like any further help with this? Well, where do I go? I see you have clicked the pencil icon next to header off account. That's the right place to add your header name. You can type your header name into the text input field that appeared. After that, the error should go away. So basically here the error was, well, that the header name and value had to be filled in. So for example, for me, it's QWERTY, um, save. And then when that's done, when I press test step, it would work like it's intended to work. So yeah, just thought of uh, sharing this uh, because it's actually pretty useful, the Gemini Live. Um, it's not something that I've used a lot, but yeah, definitely can help out some people that have some random errors that appear. Um, yeah, hopefully this was valuable yeah, and I see you in the next video.